What's happening, sports fans? How you doing? I am Kendrick, the sports guy. Good Sunday to you. And we're talking about the NBA and their had their championship game last night, but not not the NBA Finals. We're going to talk a little bit more about the in-season tournament, but make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. But before we jump to that, I want to give a shout out and congratulate LSU's Jaden Daniels. He won the most coveted award in college football. He won the Heisman Trophy last night. They had the ceremony in New York City. He beat out Washington quarterback Michael Penix Jr., uh, Oregon quarterback Bo Nix, and Ohio State wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. So again, congratulations again goes out to LSU's Jaden Daniels. He is the winner of this year's Heisman Trophy Award. Now let's get to this in-season tournament. Last night, the Lakers defeated the Indiana Pacers in the NBA's first inaugural in-season tournament championship behind a damn good performance of, of Anthony Davis. The Lakers big guy had 41 points, 20 rebounds, 5 assists, and 4 blocks. The Lakers also superstar LeBron James. He added 24 points, 11 rebounds, and 4 assists. And he was named the tournament MVP. So again, Lakers win the first inaugural in-season tournament championship of the NBA, uh, 123 to 109 over Indiana. Now, this was kind of a confusing tournament. I'm doing this because my brother, Lamar Falk, who is, uh, he does uh, his own YouTube stuff. Uh, he has a TFG media group as well. He does Lamb Levity. Go check him out over there. He does uh, entertainment news, among other things. He does uh, real estate stuff as well. He is the real estate insider where he checks out celebrity homes. So go check out both his channels and subscribe to those if you will. Well, he hit me up in a messenger and I was a little under the weather, so I didn't even watch the game last night. I kind of just read the synopsis this morning. He asked, what's up with this in-season uh, in tournament? Is some what confusing and I agree with him it is confusing so I'm gonna give you a quick cliff notes of what exactly this in-season tournament how it went about now it was broken up into two stages group play and knockout rounds the, the 30 NBA teams they were put in six groups of five based on their win-loss record from last season now, 18 they would play in a group play I think they played like five games apiece uh, in the group play those teams would Eight teams from the group play advanced to the knockout round with single elimination games. There also were wild card teams that were able to make it as well. That means that if you lost in the knockout round, you were out of it. So whoever actually made it out of that round, it was the Pacers and the Lakers. They made it to the championship again that was played in Las Vegas at T-Mobile Arena last night. Again, all games played in this in-season tournament, they do count in the regular season. So again... The Lakers, that was the short version of what the in-season tournament meant. So, again, the Lakers win this first inaugural championship. My thoughts, how do I feel about it? I don't really have no feeling about it. Doesn't move me. Um, I think Adam Silver, the NBA, Adam Silver, excuse me, the uh, NBA commissioner, I think him and his group got this idea because I do know that there are leagues overseas that do these in-season tournaments. So, I guess he did this just to keep somewhat of an interest uh, to gain more interest in the league, but also to address the load management issue that this league has. When I when I say load management, that means a lot of these star players and players want to sit and cruise and not play the whole 82 regular season schedule. So I guess putting this in season tournament in the middle of the season will, will keep their interest. Uh, I don't know. I, again, I didn't really watch it. Uh, I was a little under the weather, so I didn't watch the game last night. But I think it probably will, uh, you know, I'm sure we'll see what the numbers will be once they, uh, they do all that to see it. Did this gain some eyeballs? Um, again, this, this may look good on the resume. Uh, I, I look at this in-season tournament kind of like a church church league where you, you know, a rec league where you win you win the championship. It doesn't mean nothing at the end of the day. Uh, but I will say uh, the players, the Lakers, I don't know the number, uh, the exact amount, but the winners of this in-season tournament, they win, I believe, a half a million dollars. I could be wrong, but there is a some money won in this tournament. Not even not only the champions, but those that make it to that have made it to the knockout round. So there was some incentive for players to give it their all, so to speak, in this tournament. So I, you know, again, it didn't move me one way or the other. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll see what what happens going forward. Uh, I just want to know who's going to hold up the, the Larry O'Brien in June. 
that to me is the one that matters the most. So we'll see. But I'd like to know your thoughts on this inaugural first season of this in-season tournament of the NBA. Should they continue it? And again, what's your thoughts on it? Did you like it? Is it confusing? Or it just how ho whatever in your mind? Make sure you drop a comment, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. I am Kendrick, the sports guy. We will see you on the other side. And on the next report, I am out. Peace.